Hey guys, wanted to chat with you for just a second this morning. Uh, I am recovering from jet lag, which I know I won't get any sympathy um, because it was uh, due to the fact that I was in Maui for a week. A um, little bit puffy, but that's okay. Uh, I was just thinking through today is the end of the month. What happens at the end of the month? This is a great time for you to be running your back office reports. See how you did with your personal volume, see what your team is doing, look and see who are your active and qualified uh, ambassadors below you. Uh, if you're working your business, there are some really great times for you to be in your back office so you can kind of have your finger on the pulse of what is going on with your business. So I want you to make sure that you are checking your back office on the 1st, on the 15th, on the 24th, the 25th, the 28th, and then the last day of the month. So those for me are six mandatory times that you should be in your back office. Now, if you're like me, you pretty much are checking things out uh, on a daily basis for multiple reasons. One, if you have a new customer, you need to see uh, where they came from, what they ordered, so you know what you're going to be following up with, um, with them to see what products they are taking and how they're doing. Um, you need to get used to running those reports in your back office um, so you can see how you're doing, how your team is doing, how your customers are doing. If you do not know how to do that, I want you to uh, message me below and I will help you out with that. Um, second thing, end of the month, um, I just want to congratulate everybody. You guys are doing an amazing job. Um, a lot of you had uh, increased sales, and I'm very proud of you. I've got some new people who are just um, rocking and rolling. Uh, I've got uh, some great rock stars who have signed three, four, five, seven, even nine new ambassadors in one month. So you guys, anything is possible. If you set those goals and do the work to get there, you can do it. Now, one of the most common questions, what is that work that I need to do? We all need long-term goals. We need a long-term vision for what am I doing and why. But we also need the short-term goals of this is how I'm going to get there. So I want you to think about tomorrow is the beginning of the month. It's a brand new month. Everybody likes Mondays to start over and be new days of a month. It's just a great time to say, okay, what's, what are we going to do? Regroup, uh, focus and let's move forward. So I want all of you to think about what is your goal? What do I want to accomplish in this new month ahead? Um, and it's not just going to be, oh, I hope I get two new customers. Um, if you set that goal, it's going to be, I'm going to find new, two new customers, and how am I going to do that? I'm going to talk to at least 20 new people, because of those First 10 that I talk to, one might say, yes, I want to take a look at your products or your opportunity. So you know you need to get um, the numbers. You need to do the work that's going to get you. So daily activities. I want you all to find an accountability partner. We talked about this last night at my Monday night meeting. Um, saying you hope something happens versus setting a goal is two different things. Setting that goal and doing the work um, and falling short is also something else that we have to deal with. So whether it's your upline or your plexus buddy, whoever it might be, I want you guys to make sure that you're going to be held accountable for this is the goal I'm setting, this is the work that I'm going to do, um, and then checking in with somebody so that you can be um, held accountable for that. I think that's very, very important. Um, a few months ago, we did a 30-day challenge in my team group. Um, if you need to do another challenge, go go back and look at that if you're in my downline. If not, um, there's some really great stuff out there. Sarah Robbins has um, a network marketing generic 30-day challenge. If you go to sarahrobbins.com on her blog, just search 30-day challenge. It's a great month to consistently be challenging yourself to move ahead into the next level. Um, for somebody that maybe is feeling stalled or plateaued or maybe you're just starting out, I want you to go silver again, or for the first time, you're going to find three new distributors, three new ambassadors to join your team this next month. I also want you to go out and find three new preferred customers. New customers are going to bring in new life, new testimonies, new stories. They're going to help to make you feel um, it's fulfilling to find people who have a need and then be able to offer them something that can be beneficial and helpful to them. So I hope this helps. Um, let's finish this month strong and start tomorrow on a brand new foot, refocused, 
re-motivated, challenged, find that ability, uh, accountability partner, um, set those goals, write them down in black and white, tape them up somewhere so that you can see them, check in regularly and do those daily activities that are going to get you moving forward. Talk to you guys soon.